Hi guys, um, gonna wait till you people come on here, so we can chat, I got a lot to say. Okay, there's people in here, hi, 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 uh, I love you, um, so my album comes out Friday, so I hope you guys buy it, please, please, please. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, hello everybody. So yeah, let's talk. Because I literally am so mad right now. Uh, and it is infuriating. Hello, hello, all right? Uh, so yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is what we're going to talk about. And this is going to be, honestly, the last time I want to talk about it. Because, one, I feel like it's beating a dead horse. Two, I'm fucking over it. Three, people are just going to feel like feel the way they want and... Um, run with their emotions, and that's fine because you're allowed to feel how you feel. However, however, and you guys can go check out the <coughs> the post. It's actually here on Instagram. Um, when am I gonna release my album? <laughs> Soon, uh, when this album doesn't work out. Okay, here we go. Actually, thank you, Thick Daddy, for bringing that up because that's exactly what I'm about to talk about. Um. So, I recently, at Honey Mahogany's post, uh, somebody tagged me in her, you know, her, uh, her post on, in, here on Instagram. And, you know, it was predominantly a positive thing. And then somebody tried, keyword, fucking tried, to say that I'm backtracking and I I was one of the queens that was all huffed and in my panties about RuPaul, what RuPaul said about trans women and drag race. Let me make my motherfucking self clear, okay? I once did not have an issue with RuPaul saying she doesn't think a trans girl who's transitioned could be on drag race. That's fine. Want to know why? It's her fucking show. Okay? It's her her rules. It's her show. Do I feel that it's somewhat unfair? Yes and no. Whatever. But it's her show. And at the end of the day, the movement for the trans, the trans movement is so big, Drag Race has nothing to do with that. Predominantly, trans women work so hard to be seen as a woman that drag is men dress as women. It's... Predominantly, that's what it is. That's the the, the, the basis and the core of it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> On top of that, um, like I said, it's her show. She didn't say anything derogatory about it. She didn't invalidate somebody's being a queen or whatever. So that's it is. That's what it is. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if it was my drag race, then fine. It would be a different situation. Or if it was somebody else, it is what it is. But it's not, she didn't say anything derogatory towards trans girls. However, where I had an issue was the language that both Root and the interviewer was using in the article, I had a problem with because I felt that it was, um, like, I felt like it was kind of like old school thinking that if you have to have surgery or whatever, and I thought that was kind of like that is where I had an issue with, and I didn't I didn't have a like an issue as far as in like I was pissed off and went off on Rue. No, why? Because guess what? Because of RuPaul and RuPaul's Drag Race, it has given me the platform and the voice that I have today. Um, I owe them a great deal. Um, with 
my success or whatever is that I have going on in my life. So I'm not, I can't, I can't speak ill of them because they did do amazing things for me in my career. Now, is the lang like again, the language is what I had an issue with. Like I said, if you needed surgery to become a woman or be fully a woman. So that's where I kind of was just like, oh, like I wish that's not how she, I wish that's not what she said, but it's already happened. And then on top of that, um, she apologized. So what's like, if she apologized, people make mistakes, sh people miss, misspoke, or people can misspoke, and it's okay, we're human, people make mistakes. So for people, you know, for people to be like bashing her, it's, it's like, it's rude and it's not what, um, it, it, it's, it's extreme. What do I think of Willem? Willem will call people out because that's how Willem is. And Willem, that's his, people are hurt. People are hurt about it. And you can't tell somebody how they should act or react to things if they're upset. I, however, am a bitch that if I am upset about something, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Keyword, I'm going to try to find the best way to speak on something, mainly now and mainly a subject that is so sensitive because, yes, I am a trans woman. Yes, I am from Drag Race. I'm drag, blah, 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 from Drag Race. And, you know, I understand where... I understand where Ruth's coming from. I also understand where the girls are coming from. We're upset. You know, how... Again, my issue was not, is not with Rue, and I'm not, I, I can't, I cannot try to change somebody's mind by attacking them, mainly not on social media. That's one thing that's not going to, like, if you're going to fight me, we're going to fight. But, like, if that's not the way to get somebody to see your point of view, mainly a very sensitive subject, like, trans queen, like being a tra like a transgender woman on Drag Race or anything like that. But the, the fight is bigger than that. To be honest, the fight is bigger than trans girls on Drag Race. I think it's just trans women and, um, shut <laughs> uh, Oh my God, I can't stand you right now. Uh, so if, so I lost my trail of thought. Um, the fight is bigger than just trans girls on Drag Race. The fight should be, and the bigger fight would be, um, getting visibility for trans entertainers. And I think that's the, the goal we should try to do is get more visibility. And no shade, sometimes if, you, if there's no visibility for your community, make the move for your community. I tried to do that just with my music video. I felt that I don't see enough Asian entertainers or Asians are being showcased in, biz in having beautiful visibility for Asians and Asian men particularly. So I did that for my music video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I can't, um, it is a, my, my way to get some kind of visibility for my community, not just, um, not just like trying, I guess, like it's my little, what do I think of Dragula? You know, I feel like everybody and their mother is going to try to use this as an a, a way to attack Rue and Drag Race. And no shade, I get it, you know what? get your coin, get whatever, get the notoriety that you want to get. But do it because you feel that you're going to help a community, not doing it because you're, wanting, you're trying to spite somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Like, I see all these things now that are, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, they're going to, why didn't you do it from the beginning? You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, the Marsha P. Johnson, hello. <laughs> and Sylvia, they 
pioneers. I'm just saying it's like the trans community has been here and it's just that we have been marginalized, mainly specifically trans women of color. So I'm just saying if you guys, like, she already apologized. She did. Let's move on. Because attacking somebody after they apologize for it doesn't help a situation. And it's not going to make anything better. It doesn't change the fact that she already said it. Move the fuck on. Because there are, there's bigger fish to fry in this situation. And that's what I feel people should do is because instead of attacking um, each other or whatever, you can't, instead of attacking, we should try to have a conversation, a positive conversation. But, you know, it, it's... This is the only way we could try to get forward is if you have some kind of like positive conversation between the within the community. The fucked up part is it's a community within the community that's arguing and fighting about shit. Instead of helping and uplifting each other, we're the same motherfuckers breaking each other down. That's the fucked up part. You know what I'm saying? So how is that helping the situation? Hold on, there's something I wanted to read. Why speak now? Like, not you, but many trans people refuse to speak on issues, but because you made a statement, now you want to speak up. Okay. I'm going to say, I can't speak for other people. I can only speak for myself. And the only reason why I didn't make a video then, I didn't really post anything. I posted, if you guys notice what I posted, it is instead of attacking RuPaul or Drag Race, I posted something that was more for positive, uh, in a positive way, like to my trans brothers and sisters, that's all I was saying. Like it wasn't, it wasn't an attack on Ruth just to, to kind of like put down what she said, but it was more to try to uplift everybody while there's something negative going on. That's what I tried to do. And that's the kind of person I am. I can't attack somebody. And on top of that, I'm conflicted because I don't feel like RuPaul is transphobic. First of all, I don't think she is. She's not. If she was transphobic, why would she work on my album without hesitation? And it's not like my me being uh, trans girl is a secret. You know what I'm saying? Do you at all feel a little betrayed by RuPaul by hearing? Um, I don't feel betrayed. I'm a little disappointed. I'm disappointed in the language because it, it's hurtful because it kind of like she doesn't invalidate people's drag. She kind of like basically said that if you don't have surgery, you're not transitioned. That, that's what hurt because I felt like I, she's a little misinformed about like gender identity and what transitioning is. And some people, you know, and that is something I work, deal with on my own because that, that hit me personally because I can't get surgeries to have oh I don't want to cry I don't I can't get surgeries to match how I feel because I have a bad heart so I can't be put under anesthesia so I am not going to be able to get breast implants I can't get my GRS and trust and believe I want to get my gender reassignment surgery I I want to I go to therapy for my transition because it's a sensitive subject I ah fuck this is not what I didn't want to happen um, I feel like the issue is bigger than just Rue's views and what hurt was the words. I don't think she's transphobic, but it's the language. And it wasn't just Rue. No tea, no shade. If there was just a courtroom, Rue was being led. I'm sorry, but the prosecutor is leading the witness. That's what exactly what I felt like. And the person was baiting Rue. And it just as so happens, Rue bait, like, fell for it. <laughs> this is what I did not want to happen. Hold on. I'm going to have to sit down. Because. And do this this way. Okay. <sighs> um. 
I'm trying to read this at the same time, guys. <sighs> so, that's what I've been... I'm a little confused now. You know, need surgery. I know that. I, I know I don't need surgery to be a woman. I, I know that. I just, however, it's just something I battle with on my own. And that has nothing to do with um, what's going on right now. But it just felt like when Bruce said it, it just hit home. And I wasn't mad. I was really, I was disappointed because it, it hurt to read that. Because I I thought that Rue would probably be more um, versed in the in gender issues or gender identity, but you know I I've said this like she is a woman of a certain age, so her viewpoints are kind of like your aunties, your grandma, some like that kind of viewpoint. You know what I mean? And they don't mean to be. Like, they don't mean it in a bad way. It's just that's what they know, and they haven't... They don't know the new ones. So, that's what sucks. But my main thing that I was mad about was, like, this fucking asshole... <coughs> on, um... Uh, what do you call this? On Honey's page was, like, me and the other girls are, like, bashing Rue. Um... Motherfucker, I never bashed Rue, because that's not... I would never bite the hand that feeds me, one. Two, she wasn't disrespectful to me, so why would I go at RuPaul disrespectful? That's just stupid. Yeah, it's old school thinking. So that, so that's what pissed me off, was like, he's like, oh, now I'm backtracking. I'm not backtracking, motherfucker. I'm not the bitch to backtrack, first of all. So that's what pissed me off. And, like, my thing is, like, don't put words in my mouth. So this homie was like, this kid was just like, oh, I, I said this. And I was like, and I went after her. No, I didn't. I was like, show me the receipts, motherfucker. Show me the receipts. Because that's not what I did. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the girl to be, like, calling somebody out for, like, some dumb shit. And first of all, it's RuPaul. Why would I do that? Like, you know what I mean? Come on. Like, whatever. And I know better. How about that? One thing I was taught by my mother is to have respect for your elders. And yes, RuPaul is el one of my elders because she's older than me. Exactly. None of the rude girls were being disrespectful. Even Willem's problematic ass isn't necessarily like being disrespectful. She's calling out Ru. I will say that. Willem is good at that. However, it's not like we're calling her out her name. You know what I'm saying? Like that's so for this kid to be like, I'm backtracking because I'm saying we should have a, a positive conversation about it. Well, guess what, dude? That's what we're supposed to be doing. Ugh. I'm supposed to be on a diet. No. You're the kind of person I will go to for advice during an argument. Actually, no, I'm not. Don't know. There, I have my very my good days and I have my bad days. I am, however, trying to be a better woman and not be getting, not get all ratchet, but I do have a very ratchet mouth. How, and the thing is, it's like, it all boils down, for me, it all boils down to how you come at me. If you come at me correctly, we can be cool. If you come at me sideways, I'm gonna slap the dog shit out of you. That's the kind of bitch I am. So, just come at me right, and we be cool. <sighs> Stay focused, I know, I, I do jump around. I had Chinese, okay. I'm going to ask, this is going to sound real shady, but why is Chinese food not right anywhere else but New York City? I don't get it. Just like in New York, y'all, pizza is the best in New York. Chinese food is the best in New York. I don't get it. Why can't y'all get it right anywhere else? All right. Anyways, I'll be right back. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I didn't. Oh, wait. 
Never mind. Trans boy, love you. Hi, 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 hi. Sorry. You were so sweet and amazing when I met you a few weeks ago. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Everything is better in New York. No, not mm, sweet. I don't. Okay. I have. Yeah, because I'm in Chicago and I love Chicago. Don't get me wrong. Um, and Chicago pizza is different than New York. However, I ain't looking for like that. The pizza wasn't what I would argue. It's Chinese food. I was just like, mm, it's not the same. Chicago, no. Chicago got some good spots. I went there, but like this morning, this afternoon, whatever, for lunch. But for dinner, I just ordered in and that Chinese food was boo-boo. I don't like it. Uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, New York, everything is good. Alright, so let me, I've been to New York twice, but still haven't had New York pizza. <gasps> How do you go to New York City and not have pizza from New York City? Y'all crazy? I live for your faces doing my Valentina number. Because <laughs> it was fucking funny. Eat what you want and live high. No, I can't. I have a music video to shoot. I'm going to try to look a little snatched. Because, um... I went from looking real cute for my first two videos, and I was like down to the weight that I kind of like, and then I kind of blew up again, so uh-uh, <laughs> I can't, <coughs> yeah, I blew up a bit, <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, that is just my views on the whole RuPaul and what she said about trans community, not, it wasn't about the community, it's just she doesn't, she doesn't think we'll be on, on her show, which is fine, it's her show, you know, guess y'all will not see me on All Stars, <laughs> don't matter, I want to do something bigger, so I'm going to New York in two weeks. And my friends are taking me around to see everything. Good. So go get pizza from New York City. Um, if you're going to go get Chinese, go to Chinatown. Um, I could recommend Hot Key. And there's another place. My brother knows it. My brother knows the name. I don't know it. I just know how to get there. Um, what, I'll be in DragCon New York City. Uh, what else? What else? Um, and pizza and your like raised pizza or two boots if you find a raised pizza or two boots get you a, a two boots specifically i like two boots because it's kind of bougie but it's like pizza how do you deal with people that are really trying to understand a trans woman but just don't get it um see this is this is my problem in that situation because i don't I'm not a teacher. I don't have a. I don't have patience. So when if somebody's like being closed-minded, I just walk away because I don't. For me, it's like beating a dead horse. I don't like. I don't like trying to explain something to someone who's completely just doesn't want to listen. Um, I wish you can come to the island of St. Keats. Okay, I don't know what that is. But okay. Yeah, you have to speak up. You have to increase visibility. Um, for those who won't get exposed, I try to be. Um, I try to be patient with people who don't understand. But for me, for me, and again, I'm just speaking for myself. I, when somebody doesn't understand my transition or who I am as a person, as a woman, whatever, like their opinion and their um, acceptance isn't something I seek. The only people's opinion that matters to me is my family, my immediate family, like my brother, my aunts. Those are the people that matter to me, like their their opinion matter. Um, my friends I know will, you know, will see my point of view because they're my friends. Um, I'm not a teacher and I don't have patience. <laughs> I, I, I just don't, and I try, don't get me wrong, I try, but if like, if I'm in like my fifth sentence and you're still like, boom, I'm just gonna be like, Bleh. I'm cool, you know what I mean? That's how it is. 
Okay, come to Orlando. I actually am going to be in Orlando May... Oh, no, not May. March 31st and the 1st. I'm going to be there with... Uh, LaShawn. LaShawn, Lanesha, and somebody... Oh, Jade. I think it's Jade Jolie. I, the fuck I think it is. Oh, my God. I hope I'm not wrong. But it's I, there's four of us that are going to be there. Yeah. The 30th. The 31st and the the 1st. Come to Australia. I'm coming to Australia in July. Are you touring for my for my album? Um, Yeah, kind of, sort of, right now. I mean, we're trying to see people to sell it. And if people, like, will bite and, you know. So far, um, Chicago was honestly... That's why I love Chicago and Roscoe's and Sean. Shout out to Sean from Roscoe's because they were the first to be like, oh, we want to book you. And also San Francisco, they're trying to, like, work things out. So, you know, like, there's, you know, my my good people that want to have me at their places. I'm good. What you got in the bag? I heard it. <laughs> Shit. It's a, a Boston cream donut. I'm holding on to it for later on tonight. Mm -hmm. Sorry. DC. Uh, nothing DC planned yet. What you got? A candy one. Come to Brazil. When they book me. I'm coming to meet you, bitch. Okay, work. So, yeah. May, March 31st. Sorry. March 31st. Um, what else? Yeah. And I'm probably going to go to Disney the, day, the next day. You look so comfy. Major post. Oh my god. I love this shirt. Seriously, love this shirt. Love it. It is like the most comfortable thing in the planet. I need to not do that because I have no bra on and Lord knows it will pop out. Spokane, Washington. I don't... Washington. I don't know if they will... Do. I know I'm gonna do... I think... Tennessee. I think there's a Tennessee date this month. I think... Like a college show. I have to check my schedule. And I can't check my schedule while I'm on here with you guys. Because it's on my phone. Sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, I, if my album comes out. And my music video with Sharon comes out very, 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 very soon. How was the shot with Soju? Um, shooting with Soju was fun. It was really, really cute. And I was late. Because my flight was delayed. Super delayed. But it was cool. And... Yeah, it was fun. I think it should be out. So just say Sunday, something like that. It's either Sunday or Monday. Sun, yeah, one of, it's just coming out this weekend, I think. Pablo Vitar, what about him or her? Wait, her. It, wait, how does what is Pablo Vitar's um pronouns? I don't know. Did you punch her for me? Hell, no. I am not gonna punch. <laughs> so true. So true says a sweetheart. I can't. Susan Melodos. Spot. Don't pay attention to those kind of requests. Ugh, nope. It's too late to try to hook up with me, sweetheart. I already ate. Mm -mm. I actually need to yawn. Mm -mm. What club will you be coming to when you come up to Orlando? Parliament House. Executive Suite, hi. I love you guys. I miss you. I'm coming to California soon. I promise. Actually, I'm coming to California this month. I have to, I'm shooting my music video here in California. I always shoot my music videos in California. It's just so much easier. Did I see Roger's black? What are you talking about? Have I been to Maryland? Yes. I used to date a guy that lived in Maryland. I'll try. I mean, I'm going to see if I can stay an extra week so I can get some gigs, but... Right now, it's not looking that way. It looks like I'll just be, like, popping in, shooting stuff, and then have to go back home. Okay. You have really long nails. Oh, yeah. I do. Raja did blackface for a photo shoot. I feel like when... Okay, like... 
I gotta see that because that's what I'll tell you. Like, it's weird because, like, in Asia, they still do blackface. Like, they do. And it's like, I think it's only here in the Western, like, in the <laughs> this side of the world where people, are like, have it. <laughs> it's offensive. I think it's offensive, though. I do. <laughs> I just don't know how to get around that. Mm-hmm. Those are the best shows. I know Lanesha and Roxy. She went in her RuPaul's and Trinity. I love those bastards. Lanesha, I love her. But Roxy and um, Trinity, those are cool. I remember I first met Trinity. She was like, I'm not going to do Drag Race. Five years later. Boom. Never say never, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, be you and do you. I do. We have man love you in North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. Oh, sick of sick now. I don't know if I can go to North Carolina. I might get arrested if I go to North Carolina. I'm just saying. Because um, there's a motherfucker in North Carolina that owes me like four grand. So no. Because if I go out there, I might break his knees. Mm Mm-mm. No. No, not come. Mm. Yeah. You have to understand. Mm, this is going back to the slave trade. There were some um, Europeans that brought African Americans, I mean, not African Americans, Africans to Asia and that's why there's a, a lot of like Southeast Asians who have um darker features um Moreno features I guess is that's what you want to say it but yeah and, like they're they like I mean specifically the Philippines because we were colonized by Spain for like a hundred years so when they would do the slave trade they would they brought some Africans into the Philippines and then you know People procreate. They do not drunk enough. So you kinda get everything. Hi Zach. I love your attitude. Thank you. Did you see Dragula season three showing all gender? Child. I will say this. If y'all are so if they were so inclusive, why didn't they do that from the beginning? I think it's just a, a way to take a jab at Rue, and I think that's fucked up. Because you're using a a social uh, a social issue to just make um, to make a boom for your name or your company without really meaning it to benefit um, the community. So I thought that was kind. I think that's shady. So. If if they were so righteous and so, um, what do you call this? Like, if they were just like doing it for the for the fact of doing good, they should have had like maybe they should have addressed the whole racism situation with um, uh, that girl Moniki and Soju, you know, instead of backtracking and like going around like whatever, like it. It is what it is. I just feel like if you're going to do something, do it wholeheartedly and because you mean to do it, you mean to do the right thing, not to do something only to like get notoriety or to get like a boost for your name because you think you're doing something like you're doing some social justice. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Mm-hmm. That's why I thought we get different don't shade at Rose. Exactly. You're going to throw shade at RuPaul. Dragula is way too white. Mm -hmm. I'm just... I'm going to keep my mouth shut because that's not my type of drag. And then I don't know that kind of style of drag anyway. So, I'm cool. You know, and plus my homegirl. One of my... One of of the girls that I live for was on that show. Her name was Melissa B. Fear. So, I think she's just better off in Drag Race. No shade. But, um... And Vander, Von, Von Odd, I think, was really cool. I remember she was on. But it is what it is. Like, you know, like, everybody's style is different. They said they didn't know about it since the final. I have must. They didn't know nothing. That came out to, like, as soon as the fucking cast was announced. 
they didn't know about it, right? Please. Fifi should no. Why? <laughs> Fifi's not gonna do. I would tell no. Why would she? No, you don't go from like national television to YouTube. No shade. <laughs> Melissa is gorgeous. Melissa is gorgeous. And Melissa's stuff is always so fucking pretty. So we so pretty. Don't tell her that though. <laughs> um, good night. Good night, love. Uh how do you not know when it was everywhere? And <laughs> basically, hello hi. You know what I mean? Like, you can't say, I didn't know, bitch. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, like I said, it ain't my show. I don't have my own show. I'm one day, maybe, you know. I love you, too. A lot of the queens said that they would do Dragula, and I don't know how I feel about it. Ciao. They can do whatever they want. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, we as a community will find a way to uplift, I should find a way to uplift each other. Um, do I feel that RuPaul's Drag Race should have trans girls? Yes, I think so. Um, maybe Ru should try the way America's Next Top Model did. The only thing is just like, it would change the dynamic of the show. Like there's certain like categories, it would just, it would be slightly easier for trans girls like the fucking the fucking five minute 15 minute makeup job like come on now of course they might they might be able to explain that you know is, to get ready in a pinch for like a date or whatever <laughs> and i mean like a date like or if you have to go out real quick and you don't want to go out looking crazy you want to put on a little beat like that's what i do so um yeah um the thoughtness is real today yeah i, I was I was very thought of here in Chicago. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm single. I have to do whatever I want. Alright, anyway, it is getting late. I got to pack. I have to be at the air I have to leave here by 4.40. No, 4.30. To be at the airport by like 5.30. It's 5 o'clock, whatever. And how's Fifi doing? She's still alive, sadly. I haven't killed her yet. Not yet. We should have some drag kings on there too. See, that's the thing. Okay, about the drag king situation. This is why I feel like drag kings might be difficult on drag race. Because when we do like um uh eleganza gown or whatever, like but they they present themselves as men, so that's gonna be different and it's gonna be, it's it's gonna complicate the show. It there needs to be I think like subsections or like um uh RuPaul's drag race Drag King Edition, you know, that I think would be really cool if they did that. Or, um, uh, like a trans girl, uh, drag race. I think that would be cool. I mean, you know, so that people can't be like, oh, it's unfair or whatever. It's a different fight. Da la 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 la. Well, if you have the sub, like the subsections, I think that might be cool. Um, and then, and also I was like, do we, I do we think that the straight world, or the straight audience is ready for that you know I think they are but they're not really and then you have to think about like that's gonna that's gonna put these girls under a whole lot of scrutiny so it's it's a it's a hard situation it's not an easy like oh it's like that it's not it's not as simple as as we think as just putting girls on the show because you have to think about the variables and sometimes maybe it's it's easier to kind of like the straight audience doesn't matter yes it does matter the straight audience do you know that the predominant um viewer of rupaul's drag race is straight cisgender women you think about where the show is on it's not a logo anymore it's on vh1 <laughs> the audience is women <laughs> straight cisgender women so you guys gotta understand, like, um, a lot of people have been bullying Katya and Trixie and Bob at the Vice Land and the Vice Land Instagram. 
People just are never fucking happy. Katya is away right now. She's trying to make make herself feel better, and you people are just trying to bully them and for her, bully her to come back onto a show. Maybe she's not ready to come back yet. Leave her the fuck alone. Let her let her get her shit together. Let her get her life, or let her find her happiness before she comes back into mainstream again. Like, leave her alone. Let her fucking get some rest. Shit. Damn, like, y'all can't just, never, people can never be happy, and like, this right there is visibility on, um, for the LGBT community right there on Viceland with fucking Katya and Trixie, and even with Bob, why, that's visibility, you're gonna complain about visibility when you don't get So, uh, y'all need to, y'all need to get your shit together, so... I can't, you know, probably because Kaki is the really, really funny one and y'all are just missing her, but she's not ready to be on TV yet. Leave her alone. Oh, fuck. All right, anyways, I do have to pack. I love you guys. It is already, what time is it? I'm like 11 something? Oh shit, it's 12. Okay, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Please make good choices. Please. Love each other and just try, try to be good human beings. Deuces.